Hello ever again. Hello ever again. Hello everyone and how do I start these? Hello again everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Crystal. Nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm finally going to be opening up all of my Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star collaboration collection nonsense that I got. Um, this might be kind of a long one because I have not everything, but I have a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, and I just want to tell you how much of a pain in the ass it was in case you don't know. I know a lot of people obviously do because they were like me and had to struggle through the checkout. Well, didn't have to, but we chose to. And um, it was frustrating. Now, let me just address the issue that's happening right here. I look like crap. Uh, my hair is not done. I don't have any makeup on. I'm breaking out and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I think it's because I've been using a new um, moisturizer, trying it out, and it's not going well. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, so please just try to ignore all of this that's happening. Well, everything. And um, it'll get better as the video progresses. Anyway, all right, so it launch day, which was, what was it? November 1st. Um, I was like, I was at home because I had taken a vacation day for other reasons. What was the reason? I don't remember. Had a, yeah, I had a half a day or something. I don't remember how it went. Something, something along those lines. Anyway, so um, noon central time is when it dropped. And I remember, was it noon? Anyway, time doesn't matter. I remember I was at my computer and I had my um, I had my phone also so I was on and I had different tabs open I had Jeffree Star Cosmetics I had Beautylish and then I had Beauty Bay and then I also had um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics pull up on my phone because I know from previous launches that it gets nuts it goes slow stuff lags and then you end up missing out on some things I thought I was being prepared and having all this stuff available like just right there in front of me. So the time hit, I go to <laughs> I go to Jeffree Star on one tab and it's loading and then I go to Beautylish on another and you know, obviously I'm all, and I refresh. <sighs> Immediately, like every site crashes. Well then the first one that I was able to get through on was Beautylish. So I got the entire collection in my cart and I added an extra palette and an extra mini palette and a couple other things. Um, I think like the purse or some, oh, mirrors and some other, th I think, was it? I don't remember. Anyway, I had a lot of stuff. I had the entire collection and then some other miscellaneous things that weren't included in the collection in my um, Beautylish cart. So then I backtrack over to Jeffree Star's account and I get the collection in my cart there and I start the process of checking out like right away because I kind of figure like whatever I don't get on Jeffree Star's, I'll just get on Beautylish. Um, because, <laughs> this is so stupid. The whole reason that I wanted to get the entire collection on Jeffree Star's website was because the um, lip balm was like special to just JeffreeStarCosmetics.com. No other site had that, it's only his website. So I wanted, for whatever reason, I wanted that stupid fucking lip balm. And so I went through the process of checking out and it said that I was in line. Um, I mean, it took a while, but then it finally said I was in line. So I decided, stupidly, to take out the entire collection out of the Beautylish thing and just got a few of the miscellaneous things um, that I that wasn't included in the collection. So fast forward to like an hour and a half later and um, I finally get through the checkout only to find that the freaking collection had sold out. So that wasn't in my Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, um, cart anymore. And of course, every effing website was sold out of the collection, sold out of the palettes, like everything was sold out. I was pissed. Thankfully, on Jeffree, well, I thought at the time, thankfully-ish, at the time I had added an additional conspiracy palette and something else to, oh, some separate balms and glosses to the Jeffree Star cart. So I went ahead and just checked out with that. And of course, went back to Beautylish and tried to add as much crap as I could. Like I just, I, I feel so stupid for just not going through and checking out with Beautylish when I had everything in there. And if I didn't get the balm, like so be it. So I kind of shot myself in the foot on that one. But anyway, so I didn't get, <laughs> so with the Jeffree Star, Cosmetics one. I never got an order confirmation. I never got a shipping confirmation. They did charge me for that account But then I saw like I was following all the Twitter madness that was happening that day And I saw that if you did not get an order confirmation and you were charged that eventually you would get refunded And if you didn't after so many days that you're supposed to talk to your bank and see what was going on Well, I was like uh, It never got refunded and I was just like crossing my fingers like please go through Meanwhile, later that day, um, because I did notice on 
Jeffree Star site that not all of the items were on there. Like I even texted um, my sister-in-law and a couple friends to tell them like there's gotta be more stuff in this. Like not everything is there. So as stuff started rolling in and I kept refreshing the page, I saw more and more items being added. So I added as much as I could to my cart and then I checked out. I think that was like at 4.30, 4.45, something like that that I checked out and it the um, checkout process was a little bit faster, but it was still slow. And then I did get that order confirmation. I didn't get a shipping confirmation and you know, I was charged, but I got the order confirmation. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting this. Meanwhile, on Beautylish, I got a few things on there. It was no problem, like, cool. So anyway, like I'm, I never got, again, never got shipping notifications for either of my Jeffree Star things. However, I did get my shipping notification for Beautylish. I ordered on Friday when it launched and then I got all of, well, like all three of the things that I got from Beautylish um the next thursday so they were really quick and i'll show you what i got for that what i got from beautylish what came really soon or really quickly was the black pig mirror and this i freaking love and then i also got because i know the that mirror like his mirrors are they go crazy fast. Well, everything of his goes crazy fast. And then I also got the pink pig mirror because they're just so freaking cute. And I don't have any hand. Well, I finally got a Jeffree Star one. Um, so I only have the one handheld mirror. So now I have these and I'll probably just like hang them up on my wall or something. Um, I'm not going, I, I don't want to break them by any means because, you know, for obvious reasons. So anyway, I got those two things from Beautylish. And then I also got this awesome, um, I think it's a makeup bag, which works for me. It's huge and it's got a double zipper. Like it feels so nice. Like I don't think it's genuine leather, but it feels like it's good pleather. Yeah. So this is a nice size bag, which I, and it's so pretty and it's got like their little logos. I don't know if you can see it. Can it focus? I don't know if you could see that. I'll find out when I'm editing, I guess. Um, and it, it's just, it's a really nice sturdy bag. So I did like that. I was excited again like less than a week after I'd ordered. Okay, so again, only one order confirmation from Jeffree Star, but I had two orders, <clears throat> no updates whatsoever. Every time I went to his website, no matter how far along in the whole process it was, like a couple weeks, I would look, try and look up that one order number that I had and I never got, I never got anything. Like it, it would never pull any information up. It would say that it was not found, which I knew I had a confirmation, so I wasn't really worried about it. But that, again, that first order I was, and I never sent anything to my bank. <laughs> Because I was afraid if I say something in my bank and I get my money back for that, then there's no possible chance that I'll get this order. Like I, that first one with, with the conspiracy palette, which I really wanted that palette. So I didn't like, I was just hoping and praying that it would just randomly show up one day. And I get, I get a notification from, I think it was FedEx, saying that your Jeffree Star order has delivered. And I'm like, sweet. It's my, because I got too many conspir conspiracies and then a bag. Well, and, uh, the side bag or whatever. So I'm like, awesome. I couldn't wait to come home. I come home and I open it up and I was so fucking excited because I got the conspiracy palette. Like, oh, I, my husband, I went, for, like, I was so excited. Like, I hadn't been that excited since, like, honestly, like, I was a kid at Christmas. Like, I was so excited that I actually got this. So I was telling people, like, if you didn't get an order confirmation and you were charged for it and you haven't gotten any updates, like, there's still hope. Also along with this order, I did order two of the glosses and two of the lip balms. I've already opened one each up, but I've got both the packages here unopened just so you guys can see them. And this is what the gloss looks like. I'm sure you've seen it by now because it's been like <laughs> over a month. But yeah, this is, and it's it feels so nice. And if I remember, because I haven't used it for a while, it smells like root beer. Yep, or diet root beer, I should say. And it feels so good. And then the lip balm, the one that I have open is in my bathroom. I use it every morning um, before I put my makeup on because it is, it's just very moisturizing and I like it. And it, I, it also smells like Diet Root Beer. And this is what it looks like, which is like a little bullet. I like it. And that is the lip balm. So that was a very exciting day for me. <laughs> All right, anyway, so again, I never got an order confirmation or shipping confirmation or anything. So I just randomly showed up one day. And then I'm still waiting for um, my second order from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and then I get, same thing happened. I get a, um, a random email from FedEx saying that my order had delivered so I knew it was this one and that is what I will show you next. 
I did get the mini conspiracy, which I haven't even opened or looked at yet. I did look at the, or the mini controversy, I'm sorry. I did look at the, the conspiracy palette, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I also got the black pig side bag. And this thing is so cute. Like, I love it. And obviously, like, I wear a lot of black, so that's why I've opted for the black one instead of the pink one. But it is, that is such a cute bag. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. So now that I've actually, in doing this video, I can actually use this now. All right, into the palettes. All right, I told you guys this is going to be a long one. Um, <laughs> if you've made it this far, uh, I will tell you that I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, because then you won't pay attention to the rest of it. But somewhere between now and the end of the video, I will be telling you what the giveaway is, so just keep watching. Okay, now into the actual palettes. This is the Conspiracy palette. I love the packaging, like, I, if you watch the series, you know they spent a lot of time on that, and I just, I, it looks so nice. And when you open her up, how pretty are those colors? Like, I know for a lot of people, it's like, the they don't like it doesn't look like it all goes together especially that food videos one that one is just like so bright and it just kind of looks like it doesn't belong but I've seen some people post some really cool thing like looks with this um, obviously I have not tried it yet myself because I wanted to upload this video and I didn't want or I want to do this video and I didn't want to do it with like you know some smudged up <laughs> makeup pans in there with a whole bunch of grit and you can't even see the stamps in there but obviously you can see I have not used it yet. What I will say is I know that Jeffree Star's um, eyeshadows are freaking amazing. I love the palettes that I have of his already so assuming that's gonna be the same quality obviously I would think it would be. Uh, I, Based off of that I know that I'm going to be using that top row a lot and then this color down here also. A lot like for everyday use but there is some cool stuff that you could do definitely with this palette so I am so happy that I got it like I really didn't think I was gonna get it so that is the conspiracy palette now moving on to the mini controversy again I am just opening this up I have not even looked at this in person obviously I saw it on their videos and I've seen it on Instagram and Twitter or wherever else but I've not actually seen it myself and again packaging always beautiful um, and then, oh, I like that little iridescentness of it, if that's even a word. And that is the mini controversy. I think, did they say Diet Root Bear was the one that was in the conspiracy palette? I think, because that looks familiar. Yeah, Diet Root Bear is right there in the top, and then that's right in the middle of that bad boy. So that, I mean, that one is a, another really pretty focus. There you go. Really pretty palette. That is so pretty. That's, it's just so cute. And I know, like, again, looking at this, like those bottom blues, I know a lot of people don't wear, I know I don't wear blues, but that's, oh, the simulation, which is this one, is such a pretty shimmery shade. Oh my gosh, it just looks so rich. But all the other ones, like, for sure. A aside from these two, I could see myself wearing any of those other ones all the time. I mean, maybe I'll get into bl wearing blue. I did like the blue blood stuff when I used that. Um, we'll see. Times change. We'll see. All right. Now, the giveaway portion. What I'm going to be giving away is a mini controversy. I did score two of these. I was hoping I would get two of them and um, I barely got one conspiracy, so I'm sorry I couldn't give a conspiracy palette away. But I do have mini two mini controversies and obviously I'm not gonna use both of them. So I do wanna give this two away to one lucky viewer. So um, wherever you're seeing this at, YouTube, Facebook, those are two main platforms that I use for videos. So all you have to do to enter this is comment below Tell me what your favorite shade in the Conspiracy palette is, or if you don't know what it's called or whatever, just tell me like what color you like the best out of all of these. Like, just comment below, tell me your favorite color, and say hi, say hope you win, whatever. But those are the shades. And you'll be entered to win. And then I will give this one week from when I post this. So all you have to do is 
comment again comment your favorite shade and then whatever else you want to say you want to say hi you want to ask me questions whatever and then also share this video to facebook twitter wherever just make sure you share the video that's all you have to do i will be picking one winner from Twitter, or I'm sorry, not Twitter, from Facebook and YouTube because I know not everybody on Facebook has YouTube and maybe not everybody on YouTube has Facebook. So I will be going through those collectively and just putting them in a random name generator or whatever and then somebody will win the mini controversy. So that will be one week from today when it's posted. All right, now that I've gone through the purchasing process and the chaos that was the launch of this whole collection, I am going to be actually using the palette and I have not done a video. I don't remember the last time I've actually got to sit down and record a video and actually just play around in a brand new palette and do like a first impressions type deal. Um, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I do have to go live on my Facebook page in two hours. So um, I don't wanna go on there looking like I got beat up or something if I mess something up. So I'm gonna play it fairly safe, which this could also give you, you know, if you have the palette and you're not sure how to use it on a day-to-day -day basis and you're not into like vi bright, vibrant colors, this might be a way, you know, what a way that you can use it yourself. All right, so for this, like I said before, I'm going to probably stick to that top row of just like the neutrals and I don't know, I kind of want to use Trisha, which is that pretty shimmery. That's my favorite color in this damn thing. Like I am just drawn to that shade. So I might try and use that. I might go against everything that I just said as I get my makeup brushes out and just use all of them. Who knows? All right, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Let me go. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to prime my lids and then I will be back. Okay, brows are done and I've got some concealer on my eyes. If you're wondering what kind of concealer that is, that is the Jeffree Star um, Magic Star Concealer. Um, to start, I think I'm just going to take Tanacon, which is this one right here, and run that over the mm, crease and up. And to start with this, because I did use concealer, I'm just kind of pressing it in first. And then I'll move it all around. I truly don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for today. I really, really don't. Okay, Tanacon is on, and it wasn't a disaster. <laughs> um, next, I think I'm going to do Rip Beer, Diet Rip Beer, which is the next shade. I'm gonna darken up my crease. Um, this is the part that after this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. Like a part of me wants to use some kind of like bright color, but another part of me just wants to keep it kind of neutral. So again, I guess we'll just have to see where it goes. All right, dipping in to Diet Rip Beer. So far, very good. Like both of these colors, um, they're just, his uh, his shadows are so, so soft. Like I've said that a million times and they are clearly very pigmented. I mean, this isn't like, holy crap, but it will be. <laughs> I mean, but for dipping in just once in that one, yeah. So make sure when you're using his eyeshadows, you a little, seriously, start with a little and then add, build up to the intensity that you want. I kind of went nuts on that one, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, I know I started off saying that I was gonna keep this fairly neutral. I'm going to try to stick to that. So I'm going to, um, cut my crease just a little bit. I'm not the best at cutting my crease, but I'm going to do it just a little bit so I can get as much pigment out of pigment. I'm going to take that on the inner like half of my eyelids. And I've shown this before, like how to do the easiest way to do a cut crease, but because it's quick, I will show you again in case you haven't seen it yet. I just take um, concealer and go right next to my, sorry, right next to my lash line and then look up. And that gives you the line to go on. And I go a little above it because my eyes are shaped kind of weird. And that way it looks normal. Otherwise it'd be like, I don't know, it's a weird line. And 
I'm not even, usually I use a brush for this, so don't like think this is like the way to do it, but I mean, it's working. <laughs> Ish. Okay, so now that that is on there, I am going to find a flatter brush and try and pack, oh, my stupid phone, I'm sorry. Pack that um, pigment on that inner half. By the way, the majority of the brushes that I've been using so far have been the Moda Pro brushes. I really like these. I always, I, try, I tried a bunch of different ones, but I always come back to these. This one is also from the Moda Pro collection or whatever bundle, whatever it is. And I've got that pigment and I'm just gonna pack it on there and hope that it looks decent. It's actually coming out darker than I anticipated. Which is weird because I mean it looks exactly like it does in the pan. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that on this side and come back. Okay, now what I'm going to attempt to do is take that Diet Rip Bear, which is that darker brown, and darken up my corner. I might mix it a little bit with my rides here, which is the black down in the corner, just to get a darker. I'm afraid of that black because I haven't used it yet and I don't know how dark it's gonna show up. So if I do dip into it, it's going to be very lightly. Starting with just that dark brown, and I can already tell it's not gonna be dark enough. Eh, maybe. And I wanna kinda blend it, not kind of, but I wanna blend it in with that pigment, the pink color. And I'm already seeing that this is kind of like blah, but we'll see how to, <laughs> how to spice it up in a little bit. All I'm doing here is I went a little farther than the other color was, so I'm just using that same brush that I used in the beginning and blending it together. If it goes out this out this far or goes out this way, it's fine because I can just take my foundation or uh, makeup wipe and just wipe it off. Which is why I do like doing my eyes before foundation. I used to do foundation first, but it's a lot easier to clean stuff up when you do it this way. Okay, dipping back in to the root beer, diet root beer. Mm, I think I'm going to dip ever so lightly into my right is here, or right's here. And just tap that on the corner near my lash line. I notice when I, um, when I do these, my voice gets very like teacher sounding, tutorial, obviously. I don't know, I hate it. I, when I have to edit it back, it's almost like, now we're going to do this, and now we're going to do this. And I am trying to be conscious of that, con conscious, I can't speak. I'm trying to be noticed, I'm trying to notice that. <laughs> Okay, now that that's darkened up, I'm going to repeat this on this eye and then come back. All right, now that that is done, um, I think, because I keep looking down at the palette, <laughs> I keep looking down at the palette and seeing Trish, which is, again, that sparkly pink, and I really, I really kind of want to put it on top of the pigment, which I feel like, I don't know. Am I gonna ruin it by doing that? Let's try. Start in the center, maybe. Oh. 
Oh, that's pretty. You probably can't tell yet. Let me go more. <laughs> Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, that's one way to brighten it up. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty that is. Like all of the little shimmers, and there's a little hair in my way. So you can see a difference between this eye and this eye, clearly. So I'm going to obviously repeat that on my other one. Oh, it's so pretty. I should have just done this in the first place. I don't know, maybe I was afraid of it. Oh, so pretty. And I know I look crazy because the rest of my face isn't done. And I know that the eye look probably looks kind of like Wah, 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 because again, I don't have my face done, I don't have eyeliner on, I don't have anything. It'll all come together in the end. So I think right now, before I go any further, I think I am going to put my foundation on and do all the contour and all that nonsense and then come back and figure out what I'm gonna do, what, what else I'm going to do to it. I kinda wanna use Ranch, which is that sparkly white that is in the corner right there. Um, I wanna use more, like, but I was trying to keep this kind of neutral and it has derailed. But anyway, all right, I'm going to go do my face and then I will come back and figure out what to do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, I'm back and I know what you're thinking. Who is this drag queen? <laughs> Thank God for foundation, right? Um, also for contour, I use the Hula Benefit um, bronzer, this little guy. And then for highlight, I use Hustla Baby, ba baby. Hustler Baby and um, Fenty Beauty. So those are the two things that I used off camera. Um, now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm still at a loss. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, I think first of all, I'm going to take, cause I wanted to use Ranch and I don't think I'm gonna put it on my eye, but I am gonna use it as a highlight to see how it works as a highlight under my brow. So let me grab a little brush somewhere. I have a shit ton of brushes like right in front of me and I can't find a good one for that kind of highlight under my eye. So I, oop, this one, oop, <laughs> this one might work. So I'm gonna use this one. This is a Sigma uh, E25. It's a blending brush, but oh well. All right, so I'm going to, let's see what it looks like on my hand. Oh yeah, that'll work, maybe. And just put that, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's definitely a highlight. Um, I'm gonna need to blend that into the brown better. Wow. Can you see it? Probably not. Can you? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> All right, and the other side. I guess it's not so much of a highlight as it's just a color because I can't see it on the viewfinder. I can see that on the viewfinder, but I cannot see. Oh yeah, there it is. Just took me a bit. And the other side. <laughs> oh my. See, it looks so pretty in person. I, oh yeah, it is picking up up there. It's just the square is in my way. Oh man, that is really pretty. You know what? I'm gonna put that on my inner corner too. For shits and giggles. Alright, and now um, I think I'm going to take, well first let me change my battery and then I am probably going to do like Tanacon and Diet Root Beer under my eye. Um, I know I'm using the same colors, but I wanted to try and keep this as simple as possible so that anybody that is new-ish to makeup is not like super overwhelmed with a bunch of colors and trying to blend them all together. So that's the whole purpose of doing like a more simplified um, first impression of this palette because a lot of people that got this palette are like really freaking good at makeup and can use every single freaking color from this palette on their eye in one sitting. And that's amazing, but that's not me and that's not what I think my typical audience is. If you can use every color on your eye in one sitting, fucking kudos to you, man. But um, that is, that's not what I'm doing today. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna change my battery and be right back. And we're back. All right, so now I'm going to use a small um, not that one because that one's dirty. A small like detail brush and go under my eye or on the lower lid I should say with uh, um, Diet Root Beer first. So I'm taking the darker of the browns. That's not the brush I wanted. 
I'm gonna take the darker of the browns first and go as close as I can to my lash line, my bottom lash line. And then after that is on there, I'm going to take Tanacon, which is the lighter brown, and blend that into that darker brown. Sorry, I'm so sniffly, I swear. I have horrible allergies. I know it's winter, but I have allergies. I'm allergic to everything, like everything in nature. If you've seen my video with my husband, a rant, um, you'll know. But like, I just, I can't, I, there's no, at, at no point during the year am I allowed to breathe normally. Like my sinuses just do not allow it. So I apologize if I sniff a lot in my videos. It's just allergies, unfortunately. Okay, now I'm going to take, again, as I said it before, Tanacon and blend that into that diet root beer on the bottom lash line. And I think I'm going to use, I'm gonna clean this off. Um, by the way, what I've been doing over here with my brush, this is the color switch. So that's what I've been doing is just clean off my brush. Now I think I'm going to take that um, Trisha color. Do I put that on my bottom? Mm, do I? Don't I? Yeah, let's do it. F it. And I'm going to go as close as I can to my lash line and fail. just so the top kind of mirrors the bottom line or the top lash the top lid mirrors the bottom lid all right and now I already did the ranch on the inner corner but I, I want to take this little brush the little detailed one because that is a really good one to pick up pigment and get right in that corner and if you want to know what this is this is Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush. I don't know where I got this. Probably BoxyCharm or Ipsy or something along those lines. But yeah, that gets right in there. All right, I'm not going to do um, a liner. I want just the eyeshadow on here. I'm going to add some mascara and then, I don't know if I'm gonna do lashes or not. I don't know if I feel like doing lashes today. I'm gonna put the mascara on and see how it looks and if it looks still kind of like eh, then I'll add some lashes. How about that? Yes, sounds good. Great. All right, I added mascara to my top and my bottom lash line. I don't think I'm gonna use... Am I? Do I? Something is missing. Maybe I should add... Something's missing. Oh, I know it's missing. My lips are bare and look crazy and yeah, maybe I do need lashes. Maybe that is what's missing. Is that it? Yeah, all right, screw it. I'm gonna add some lashes and I'll let you know what kind I add afterwards. So again, I will be right back. Okay, so I've got lashes on. Um, I didn't use a full band of lashes. I'm just not a fan because they're just so uncomfortable for me. Um, if you're used to, I mean, I know you have to get used to them. I just, I, ne I don't wear them often enough to like, the, for them to feel comfortable after a while. I just don't. So I like to use Ardell Lash Trios and I just use it on the outer half. I use three on this side and three on this side. So. This is what they look like. I got them at like, I think Walgreens, most likely Walgreens. That's where I got them. They're pretty inexpensive. And um, then I used Lash Duo Glue. So that's all I used there. Um, and then I had a very derpy moment where I'm like, what am, <laughs> what am I gonna put on my lip? I didn't get, because again, I didn't get the bundle. I didn't get any of the lip colors, but I did get the gloss. So I might as well just use the gloss, right? Duh. So that's what I'm gonna be putting on my lips now. And it, I've already used this. I think I've said it before. And it is just so soft and it does smell really good. And it's not, it isn't one of those glosses that like, when you put your lips together, it leaves those like strings and gross shit looking, I don't know, nonsense on your lips. Like I hate those that are so sticky where your lips stick together and it looks like you got like dog slobber going from your mouth or whatnot. You know what I'm talking about. 
If I would have gotten lucky enough to get a lip color, I would have used one of those. But since I just have the gloss, that's what I put on. Um, and my hair would be done. But again, I... Well, I don't know if I can say again. I don't know if I said... Did I say it? I think I did. I have to go live. Well, now it's an hour. I have to go live in an hour, and it's for launch, which is where you do your hair. So that's why my hair is not even brushed. It's not... It's nothing. It's just... It's crap right now. So um, I will post a picture... Well, by the time you see this, I'll probably already have seen it. So I'm going to do my hair later and then I will just insert a picture here. Okay, so that is everything for today. That is what I received in, during the conspiracy launch. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know what to do, just comment below. Please follow me on all my social media. Everything is at Beauty by Abel. That is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Um, also for the giveaway, uh, reminder, share this video and comment below your favorite shade. And you know what? Bonus points if you share this on um, Twitter and or bonus entries, I should say. If you share it on Twitter and you tag Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, because that would be awesome if they could see this. Like I would probably freak out if <laughs> if they saw this. Anyway, again, okay, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.